guys, since I have my laptop here on my lap, we're gonna do this month's Instagram Q&A on a laptop. It just makes sense, right? I'm sorry, little phone. You'll be useful again next month. Maybe. Also, how fucking awesome is this lip color? Anyway, let's get into it. So I have loaded all of the comments and questions on this YouTube Q&A post on my Instagram, which is at Tara Babcock. So follow me if you want to participate. Jordan Ward 99 asks, Xbox or PlayStation? I've been a PlayStation girl my entire life. Devin Jacobs asks, why did you decide to get a boob job? Because I really like the look of huge fake stuck on tits. That's it. Sick Neon asks, favorite t-shirt you own? Probably this one. I bought this one before I got my boob job because I knew it was gonna look awesome on me after I got my boob job. That was like eight years ago and I still fucking love this shirt. I'm sure you guys can agree. Faded Every Day asks, are you sexually into girls at all? I'm bisexual, so yes. Alexandria Danae asks, what is your skincare routine? You're amazing. Aw, thank you, baby. I basically just use an apricot scrub, a generic drugstore brand so that it's not tested on animals, not St. Ives because recently they paired with a bigger company and now they do test on animals, and my skin is pretty much shit if I'm not taking Yaz or Yasmin birth control. I know there are a few others on the market that help your skin, but that one is the one that I've sworn by since I was like 13 years old. Pure Slay asks, favorite childhood moment? I had a really fucking amazing childhood, so it's really hard to say what my favorite childhood moment would be. I would say either playing Bubble Bobble in Rainbow Islands with my mom, or on the weekends my parents and I would go on these like excursions, either rollerblading, biking, or just taking a hike around like really cool areas in Seattle, Alakai Beach, stuff like that. And I always really enjoyed those and I miss them. X Van Midge, or X Van Me, can't tell, asks, what is your favorite type of video to record? What is the worst type of video to edit? I like recording all of my videos. I hate editing most of my videos. Editing is a fucking terrible process that takes way too long and I want to put like a billion hours into it to make it absolutely perfect, but when I do that, it ends up not being worth it and I end up like overworking myself. Editing can be fun because you're thinking about the finished product and how like funny and awesome it's going to be, to you at least. But then you're halfway in and it's like three hours in and you just kind of want to kill yourself. The ones that are the worst to edit are the game release news videos and the Tara Reads comments videos. Those take like three to six hours to edit. But now that I have this laptop and a cool little setup where I can like lay on the floor with a blanket and it's comfortable, it's not as bad. And my Razor or Reaver with the macros is just like, brrr, I'm just fucking knocking that shit out. It's awesome. Who's or Doga asks, are you planning to dye your hair? Going brunette or redhead maybe? Nope. There is nothing I'm going to be dyeing my hair unless it's like, a color dye that's like semi-permanent or something that's really close to this hair color ever again. I went red and it wasn't even like a dark, dark red and it completely ruined my hair. Blonde is just me. That's my thing. That's what makes sense to me. And I can't imagine feeling like I want to change it, especially drastically and at the expense of my hair's health. I finally grew it back out to like past my boobs and I'm happy that it's so healthy. So let's just let it relax. I do occasionally get the inkling to like change it to like a weird crazy color or like dip the tips or something, but it's just not worth the damage. Here's a pic of me as a redhead, if you haven't seen it. Hentai Genia asks, can you find me any cute girlfriend or an Asian boyfriend? How about her or him? Threesome slash foursome? Hit me up, baby. Andre Johan 95 asks, do you play any instruments or are there any that you want to learn to play? I was in band for like six or eight years or something when I was younger, and I could play the flute, the clarinet, the oboe, all of which are kind of in the same family. But I have always wanted to play the bass guitar. That's like, oh, a dream. I just can't imagine having enough time. But I imagine, sometimes even fantasize, about being able to play the bass guitar really well, and then like playing in my underwear and making YouTube videos of that. Vamp Pepper asks, will you end up doing both the pacifist and the genocide run through of Undertale? I think I'm just gonna do my organic run through of Undertale. I'm really sad that I killed my mom in the beginning it like broke my heart because I thought that's what I was supposed to do and that's all I could do and then I realized it wasn't and from then on I've been a pacifist so I can't be a true pacifist and it makes me kind of sad. If I enjoy the game a lot I'll often play it again off stream with Jay to kind of show the game to him but I'm not sure if this is gonna be one of those games and if I do I'm probably gonna be full-on pacifist knowing Jay. Olzy13 asks would you prefer a toy or an actual penis? Actual penis any day of the week. King Jaeger 99 asks, there is this girl I like who may like me back. Should I go for it? Fucking yes. That will always be my answer. You should always go for it. The worst thing that can happen to you is she says no and then it's like, okay, now you know and you can move on with your life. There is nothing worse in my opinion than asking what if. And people always think like, well, I don't want to ruin the friendship. Really, if something that stupid can ruin a friendship, you weren't very good friends to begin with. True Ann Moorish asks, favorite character to play in the Binding of Isaac? Lilith is really fun. I love familiars and the fact that you get to double the familiars is so amazing. If you ever play her in greed mode, you get to double the familiars in the same room like a hundred times and it's fucking insane. If you look at my screenshots on my Steam, a lot of it is just circling in a circle with Lilith and a bunch of familiars. Lopez B asks, how long 
long have you been doing YouTube? I've been active on my vlog channel for about two or three years now. Three years now, I think. And on my main channel, I've had it since like 2008. But I've only really been making videos on it for like three to five years. But this past year, I've been super serious about it. Never missing days, having a real schedule, and just like working my ass off. And I fucking love it. It's like my calling. Thank you guys for being a part of that. What is your favorite action anime slash manga? I recommend Prison School. Prison School is pretty cool, but I wouldn't call it an action anime or manga. I really love Attack on Titan. If you guys haven't seen the anime, oh, so fucking good. That shit tugs at your heartstrings. That shit is emotional. I never get emotional when watching shows, but that shit is fucking legit. Also, I have to mention the fact that Dragon Ball Z will always be my favorite anime. And anything from Studio Ghibli. Michael Freechild asks, who surrounds you? Who makes up your team? How many people involved to push your brand? Who's behind the curtain? Me. And very, very rarely Jay. That's it. And I really need to start looking into it because I feel like I'm working myself raw sometimes. Like last night, I took a nap because I was tired and I woke up 18 hours later. And then sometimes when I do go to sleep, I get like five or less hours of sleep because I wake up and can't go back to sleep because I'm thinking about the work I have to do in the day. Odrin Freely asks, what do you think of The Last of Us 2? Will you be playing it? Fuck yes, I love The Last of Us. I love the DLC, uh, what is it called? Left Behind, Left Behind? Or is that like a Slipknot song? I know that's a Slipknot song, but is it also the name of the DLC? Anyway, that was a fucking amazing game, and yes, I will be playing the second one. I feel like the first one was really unfinished, and they left the story like wide open for a sequel, so I'm really excited that they're actually doing that. Sherry Wallace 123 asks, what does LMT stand for? I see Robert Tongue call you that a lot. Latex Mistress Terra. Cam Smolin asks, who's your favorite video game character of all time? Do you really have to ask that? It's fucking Shao Kahn. Avi. Timothy D23 asks, good pickup lines? Isn't that an oxymoron? CD Salty says, man, I would let her stick it inside me, but I like those titties, girl. I'ma come into your butt, you sexy beast. My answer to that would be no. Kitten Janae asks, how did you and Jay start your modeling career? I made profiles in Model Mayhem and One Model Place, and I went out and looked for photographers whose work I really liked and then worked with them to build up my portfolio. Then I would spend some time a day answering business emails, inquiries on Model Mayhem and other places, and promoting myself to different publications, photographers, jobs, going to casting calls, and it just kind of took off from there. And I was pretty quickly able to live off of it. It was really cool. I was going to different places. I was traveling all over the US, but at the same time, I fucking hate traveling. So as much as that sounds great to you, it was kind of hell to me. And then I would take like three fucking jobs a day and overwork my ass. Oh, I am so glad I'm doing what I'm doing now. I loved modeling, don't get me wrong. It's a great creative and sexual outlet, but the people you have to meet, the traveling you have to do, it's just not my thing. And I didn't have enough time for World of Warcraft, which is like all I wanted to do at that point in my life. Brandon Dawson 1998 asks, have you ever gone into depression? And if so, who slash what helped you get through it? My entire life has been a bunch of ups and downs, but I've never had incredibly low downs. Like at the point, especially when I was a teenager, there were times when I felt like my down was like an irreversible, terrible sadness, usually invoked by my terrible boyfriend named Jared who treated me like shit and was terrible and was in and out of jail. I would never say that I actually ever had a bad life or had a really tough time or was actually depressed. Anytime I was sad though, I could turn to video games and I could turn to my best friends. And I could even turn to my parents. Which is not always something that teenagers can say, so that's pretty cool. Video games though, they make you feel so much better because you can be anyone and it brings your friends together and gives them something to do while they're with you. And you don't have to like talk about the bullshit that you're being sad about. You can just thrust yourself into a different game world and it's amazing. I owe a lot of my happiness from my childhood to now to video games. Duh. Keith Farms asks, how many nuts were busted on your face? Probably thousands. Simon the Sith asks, have you watched Star Wars The Force Awakens? If so, what did you think? I thought it was okay, entertaining, not amazing. Definitely pandered to all the fanboys that think that four, five, and six are the best things ever. And it felt kind of quick and pointless. And I wasn't really invested in the characters that much. But BB-8, she is fucking adorable. Georgie Chu asks, if you could choose a video game universe to live in, which would it be? Love you, gorgeous. Love you too, Georgie. Oh. <sighs> That is fucking hard because you're thinking about the difference between being in a world that's really perilous and you could totally die, but is way badass, or being in a world that's just like chill and you wanna be in it because it's fun. I would probably have to say God of War because I know that Kratos would protect me and I could be like his mistress that he bangs and then I just hang out in the hot tub forever even though there's like apocalyptic God shit going on. I would say Mortal Kombat because then I just get to be close to Shao Kahn, but currently he's dead and I probably wouldn't last very long in that universe. I do not have any of Sonya Blade's proficiencies. Okay, so Nino has a fucking ton of questions. Let me look through these and see which ones I wanna answer. If you got a scholarship to go to college, what would you major in? Psychology and sociology, 
easy, and then I would also learn German. And Japanese. If we did a Terra-inspired video game, what's the basic premise? Hot little girl with big tits beats the shit out of everyone. Giant monsters included. Hack and slash with RPG elements, top down, some levels are side-scrolling, just ugh, oh, so many things. Would you consider being on a TV show as a guest appearance? I would never want to be an actress, but there are some shows that I would definitely be on, like some of my favorite shows. Also, any show that has a guy that I want to screw, yes. But I've always wanted to be on Mythbusters. I know that's kind of like, what would she do on there? But I would just like to be a part of those experiments because I always thought those were amazing. Why Vegas? If you guys don't know, I will be moving to Vegas next year, most likely. Uh, if I do start making like a fuck ton of money for whatever reason, I would like to stay in Seattle. The only reason I'm moving to Vegas is because literally I can get a fucking five bedroom house for the same money that I'm paying for a small two bedroom apartment here. And it just makes sense to move there to save money. That's literally the only reason. Vegas does have its perks though. I mean, there's always something to do at night if I wanted to, not that I even leave my house. The fact that most of the houses have like a pool and central AC because it's so fucking hot there. The fact that a lot of the conventions that I like, like the Olympia, they're all there. Cozy4 asks, would you ever write a book? I've always wanted to write a book, but it just seems so pointless because I feel like I can just make vlogs and it's basically like writing a book. I like writing a lot and I feel like I portray myself much better through text, but I just don't feel like today's society is a reading society. Cozy4 also asked, would you ever get a pet? If so, what pet would you get? A lot of you guys probably already know I've really wanted a tarantula, an iguana. I really like cats and dogs. I like all kinds of animals, but I don't feel like where I live now or the time that I have now, it would be fair to an animal. I would just probably neglect it. And I don't think my heart can handle losing an animal. I would have to get something like a tortoise that lives longer than me. PX Rizian asks, do you plan on making a world tour to play some magic, not only against American players? No, I don't plan on ever being that good at magic. I feel like that takes time. It takes dedication. I do plan on going back into magic and like top eighting some things, maybe doing really well at a GP. That's probably like my highlight, maybe getting to like be a silver pro. If I had the time, that would be really cool. Uh, I love I love playing magic competitively. I don't really care about magic casually. I don't play EDH and stuff like that. So I would have the ambitions to do these things, but I definitely don't have the time and dedication to do it. I just plan on being like a semi-local, sometimes maybe traveling player that's competitive. Sanitary Sanchez asks, favorite Persona 5 character based on the most recent trailer? The blonde girl, duh. ZZAAZ asks, are you close with Jay's family? Not really. We had a falling out at one point and now we're kind of back to being okay. Uh, I'm friends with his brother-in-law. His brother-in-law plays magic with us occasionally. I really like his aunt. A lot of his family doesn't speak very good English, like at all, but I don't know. It's not like a really close thing. James Dumbo asks, when you wake up in the morning, what actually motivates you to get out of bed? Breakfast. <sighs> Will092 asks, if you had a choice between being a Jedi Master and a Sith Lord, who would you choose and why? I actually made a whole video on this topic, which I'll post down in the description. You guys should watch it. It's really interesting. At that point, I didn't know what a Grey Jedi was, but I would probably choose a Grey Jedi. If I had to choose between those two, Sith Lord. Easy. And Joel Sorry asks, is it expensive to buy things only for streaming? Not really. I feel like anything that you buy only for streaming also pertains to high-end gaming. But there are a lot of things that I've gone out of my way to buy just to have better production quality than anyone else or a lot of time that I've spent developing like certain overlays and things that I didn't have to do. And those things sometimes cost money, like a really good webcam. I'm actually gonna start using a DSLR for my webcam, which is like unheard of in Twitch. So yeah, I mean, I like to have the best stuff and therefore I make it expensive, but it definitely doesn't have to be. Pretty much all you have to have is a good CPU, a good GPU and good internet connection. There are some pro gamers that have like the worst fucking setup ever and it's pretty much just like a fuck you to their viewers. That they have to watch like this grainy video with no overlay and a terrible mic that's like popping in your ears and they just don't give a shit and they still get thousands of viewers. So sometimes it's not about the production quality, it's more just about who you are as a person, your gameplay, and your personality. So if you can't afford it, don't be deterred. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank my new laptop, which you guys have still not named. You guys should name it, name him. We need to name him together. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next month with another q and I'm gonna try to do it earlier in the month, so there's gonna be one in like probably two weeks. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram, at Tara Babcock, if you wanna see more sexy Instagram photos and Instagrams of my life, as well as participating in the next q and My favorite shorts. Bye, guys. Wouldn't you guys like me to do an ASMR video? <laughs>